Now, my next guest, you just got a sneak peek of him, is a former NASA astronaut whose life story is so incredible, it just had to be turned into a Hollywood film. It's called A Million Miles Away. Well, honestly, it is the best half-term film. I sat there yesterday with my son, tears rolling down my face. Um, Jose Hernandez became the first ever migrant farm worker to enter space in 2009 after applying 12 times and being rejected 11 times. He's now an ambassador for the Kennedy Space Centre. Well, what an honour to have you in, Jose. It's a pleasure being here with you, Ranbir. Uh, great being here on the Lorraine Show. Well, can I just say, I watched this film yesterday and you, when we talk about people defying the odds, uh, you, at every stage of your life, have defied the odds. Um, tell us a bit about your childhood with your, with your wonderful parents who worked so hard. Yes, my parents immigrated from uh, Mexico. They used to be migrant. They used to go back and forth to Mexico each year. And uh, when we were born, I was lucky enough to be born in California during the harvest. And uh, it wasn't until my second grade teacher convinced my parents that we needed to stay in one place, that we made Northern California our home. And then I, as a 10 year old, I saw the very last Apollo mission, Apollo 17 on our black and white TV. And that's when I said, I want to be like that guy on the moon. I want to go to space. But to, to sort of put into perspective how remarkable that dream was from where your life was at that point in your family's life, in a sense, because we see it in the film, as children, you were working. You were doing manual labour. You were out in the fields picking the food that would go to market. And was that a pretty normal life for you? Did you understand that actually it's, you know, kids your age in the rest of America potentially didn't work? But I didn't know that. I thought everybody did that. So that was normal for me and, uh, and helping with the family income. But my parents always valued education. Yes. And they always set the expectations saying, when you grow up and become an engineer, they didn't say, I hope you grow up. They said, uh, to become an engineer, yeah. they said, when you grow up. And so you did become an engineer, and there's a, there's a school teacher who's integral to the story, and I can't ruin it for anyone at home, but might watch it to the end. I was literally in tears watching it, so beautiful. But then tell us a bit about, you, we saw that moment where your wife uh, is saying to you, as you know, you've been an engineer for several years at that point, and she says, your dream is still to be an astronaut. What is it that others have that you don't? Tell us then the remarkable level of skill that you achieved. Yes, as, as you mentioned, I got rejected 11 times. And on the sixth time, when I was ready to give up, that's what my wife told me and said, what do they have that you don't have? And I hadn't thought about it in that way because I thought, you know, I said, I got my college education, graduate school, worked in a premier research facility. But then when she asked me that question, I took a deep dive into every astronaut's background, found out that they were all pilots scuba dive rated and spoke a language of the other space partners of NASA. And at this point, how old are you when she, when she asks you this? Are you in your... I was in my uh, early 30s, about 34. You're, so you're in your early 30s. And remarkably, you then actually train up. You spend all your money. You, you put your <laughs> wife's dream of having a restaurant on hold. On hold, yes. All the savings go into training you up. So yes. what did you become qualified in? I became a in? pilot, uh, VFR, visual flight rules, instrument flight rules, uh, scuba diver. Uh, basic, advanced, scu uh, scuba rescue, master rated. And then I uh, accepted a job for the Department of Energy that took me to Russia. So I learned- You went to Siberia, didn't you? That went to Siberia, nuclear non-proliferation arena, and I learned Russian. It's, it, it's re absolutely remarkable. And in, throughout all of that, then, you know, you, you never ever gave up, did you, on this idea that you were one day going to get into space? I never gave up because my father gave me a simple five ingredient recipe when I told him I wanted to be an astronaut uh, when I was 10 years old. He only has a third grade education, but he said, if you want to do it, he said, define your purpose in life, recognize how far you are from that goal, draw yourself a roadmap so you know how to get there, uh, prepare yourself according to the challenge and develop a work ethic second to none. And then I add the sixth ingredient, which is perseverance. So I put all that to work and believed in myself. You also yes. ran a marathon, didn't you, I during ran, that time? I ran 11 marathons. You ran 11, 11 So marathons. they don't say that in the film, but you ran 11, 11 marathons, marathons yes. during that time. And just tell us what that moment was like when you we see in the film that you make it, that you are then selected and then you are in a, a space program. That moment when you are launching and then when you see Earth from space, what is like that like? It's beautiful, it's beautiful, because it only takes eight and a half 
minutes to get into space. You go from zero to 25,000 kilometers an hour, and then you're orbiting Earth once around every 90 minutes. The first time I unbuckled my seatbelt, I went to the window. We're flying over North America, and it was so beautiful because you can see Canada, the US, Mexico, and Central America. But the beautiful thing over here is that you can't tell where one country ended and the other began. I said, my gosh, I had to go up here to realize that borders are human-made concepts designed to separate us. And how sad, because from up there, we're only one race, the human race. It's absolutely sensational. And I have to say that I did read that, you know, there was a first draft of your extraordinary life written. But you said, hang on, my wife has to be central to my entire achievement. And she really is a remarkable human being. Yes, as, as it, you'll see in the movie, A Million in the Miles movie. Away, she's, she's the hero in the whole story. I mean, she's my hero. Uh, my parents, my teacher, yes. my kids, they were all the motivating factors that got me. It was a journey of a community, a family, and a couple that It's extraordinary. Uh, and um, you have how many children? I have five beautiful five children. Five beautiful children. Your daughter's with us today, yes. isn't she? She's taking all... Oh, look, there you are with Vanessa, the family. yes. Um, and you're now in wine, is that right? That's you sort right. of relax, you're There's retired. an old saying, you could take a kid out of the farm, but not the farm yes. out of the kid. And so I have a vineyard, I make my own wine. And I also do a lot of uh, motivational talks. I go to oh. Kennedy Space Center uh, a lot, is, uh, the Kennedy Space Center uh, Visitor Complex, and I host people. And so you know, I want to invite everybody. You haven't been there. Lorraine's I, been there, but you haven't I been haven't there, right? I haven't been there. You need to come, uh, and you need to come and visit us because it's a great experience. Uh, you'll always see an astronaut there. There's always an astronaut there. And we have over 100 launches that uh, chances are, if you go, you'll see a launch live, a rocket launch at um, next door at Kennedy Space Center. The, and the we're in Florida, best, by the way. The, the next best thing to actually being there is watching the film. It is yes. absolutely sensational. I loved it. Um, a Million Miles Away is on Amazon Prime at the moment. And uh, it's an app, you must watch it with your family this week. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful uh, Jose, film. we could talk to you all day, but uh, there we must leave it. What an honor to have you here. Thank you very much, Ramvir. Pleasure being here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much.